two kinds of fiber that exist. There's soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Now, insoluble fiber is the fiber that is insoluble. You can't uh, break it down. We make clothes out of it. We make rope out of it. Greens are rich in insoluble fiber. Okay? And what is soluble fiber? It's the kind that's creamy, that um, is binding and suspends particles in itself. What are fruits? What fruits are rich in soluble fiber? Papayas, bananas, mangoes, plums, peaches. You see, and, and dates and prunes and pears, all of the creamy fruits. But an apple has more insoluble fiber than the creamy fiber. And that's why it won't make a smoothie creamy. It has the same fiber as the greens. Another fruit that has the same fiber as greens is pineapple. Pineapple also won't make a smoothie creamy. And knowing this difference is the key to making a good smoothie every single time. Okay? So, today I'm going to be sure to use soluble fiber, the creamy one, in every smoothie I make. Um, and, you know, seasonally it'll be easier, like when mangoes are in season, your job will be much easier. But, as you can see, we haven't used a single mango this week, so you don't need mangoes. Alright, how do we fix this smoothie? Well, the first smoothie I'm going to make today, besides this one, is called the Beginner's Smoothie. This is the smoothie that you want to give to children and anyone who has never tried a smoothie. Because even after a week of drinking smoothies, you will all want a smoothie that has more greens. And you'll be used to the flavor of lots of greens. A beginner smoothie needs to be very creamy and very sweet and very mild on the chlorophyll flavor. So how do we do that? We're going to use less greens, and we're going to use greens that have a more mild flavor. Some of them, like kale and dandelions, have a strong flavor. Can you say dandelions have a strong flavor? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to use something a little more mild. This right here is sorrel. You can use spinach. Name some more mild flavored greens. Lettuce. 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 How about lettuce? Mm -hmm. All the lettuces are good. Spinach is good. Endive. Endive. Oh, not endive. Sunflower sprouts. Sunflower sprouts. There you go. Just use the mild ones for a beginner smoothie. Because the goal is, all right, this is a lesson I've learned over and over again. If someone's like, what is that you're drinking? And you say, oh, it's a, it's a fruit smoothie with cream. It's a green smoothie. And they're like, okay, I'll, I'll try it. You only have one chance. <laughs> <laughs> if they drink it and don't like it, their health is at risk. <laughs> so we got to know how to get our families on board. No gross smoothies. And if you're drinking a really strong smoothie and they want to taste it, Say, no, you can't have any. This is all for me. Make, go and make them a special one. You won't regret it. Okay, so we've got the mild greens in there. Then we're going to go heavy on the creamy fruits. So I'm going to put probably three bananas in there. And um, about half of a papaya. Um, and just to make it sweet, apples. Apples will make it, give it that additional sweetness that a lot of even creamy fruits won't manage. And again, I take the stem out, because this piece doesn't blend, it's solid wood. If you're going to eat the whole apple, you can eat the seeds, because in small amounts, the toxins in the seeds are actually good, and they explode cancer cells and support the immune system. But you can only eat the amount of seeds the same amount as you can eat whole apples. So, you know, I wouldn't eat like just the apple seeds because that would be poisonous and dangerous. But 
Um, just in one apple, you don't have to remove the seeds. Just put that right on in there, like that. So we have three fruits, and then we have a little bit of kale in there. That's okay. Two greens, three fruits. Um, we'll see how this tastes. And I want to add a little more water into it because I don't want it to be too thick. And there's a lot of you. <laughs> between these two um, and how the fiber is suspended all the fibers are suspended by those creamy fruits so that's not all we're going to make the presentation amazing here I have a little piece of kiwi and I don't want it to all be green so like this show me one kid who can say no to this mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 